when I did the ayahuasca, basically we got a big circle, okay? Great big circle. And uh, my wife Vicki had to be on the far side, as far away from me as she could be. So she was clear on the other side of the circle, about 50 yards away. And all these people were laying on mats and they, well, first they set up and they drank this ayahuasca. And this ayahuasca is a mixture of what they call the vision, vision plant, uh, the plant of the soul, they also call it the plant of death, <laughs> uh, and a metagog, which is a type of thing that uh, makes you throw up, and some enzymes, a plant that has, has plant enzymes in it to help uh, the body absorb it, because you can't absorb the other three if you don't have this this in it. And anyway, I, he started with me and he gave me a full cup of this stuff. And I drank the whole thing down and, you know, and then he went around and gave other, other people different portions. Most of the people got about a half a cup or so. I don't know why he felt like I needed a lot because I guess I'm a big guy. But um, anyway, about 20 minutes into it, everybody around me is throwing up and I'm just like sitting there going, hey, what's going on? You know, everything's we, we were told you get rid of stuff by throwing up and throwing it out of your body because the plant and everything is supposed to help you clean your body. It's like people with cancer, they go down there and they take this stuff and it cleans the cancer out of their body. Very fascinating. So anyway, I'm sitting there watching everybody throwing up and I'm not experiencing a dang thing. I'm not even sick to my stomach and I drank more than everybody else. And I'm like, going, what is the deal here? And it was really interesting, so I yelled at the ayahuasca, who's the, the shaman, and I said, I need more of that stuff. And he came over and said, you don't, you, I'm not giving you any more. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I just sat there and I watched everybody for about another 10 minutes. And finally, I said in my mind, I took a big, big deep breath, and I said in my mind, I said, I need more. Just in my mind. And the little shaman guy came over and he poured me a full glass and says, here, drink it. <laughs> so he heard my thoughts and he drank, he had drank the stuff already. He had drank a full cup of it. And so anyway, I bring it up to my lips and I go to drink it and I can only drink like a quarter of it because he gave me a full glass and I drank about a quarter of it and my spirit said, no more. So I handed it back to him and he's Spanish, so I said, no mas, you know, no more. And he said, he pushed it back at me, he said, drink, drink the whole thing, toma todo. And uh, I brought it to my lips again, I couldn't do it. So I handed it back to him, I said, no mas, he took it back. So anyway, it was really interesting, because within 10 minutes, I was looking up at the stars, and all of a sudden, all the lines were coming together with the stars, and I could see the constellations. Have you ever went out and go, geez, how do the ancients see that, you know, a fish, or or a dragon, or, or Pisces, or Orion. How did they see all this stuff? Well, I think they must have taken some herbs to help them see this stuff. And anyway, then I look over at the gal next to me, and I'm gonna turn this off.